everybody, it's Beth. Welcome to Infinite Garden. This week I'm going to be sharing my first impressions of the Shark Flex Style. Yesterday I received my shipment from Shark for their multi-styler with attachments. I'll show you what my order looked like. I did customize specific attachments that I wanted for my own use, so it might be a little bit different than the standard set. So I'll show you what I ordered, and then we'll give it a shot. Today is Saturday, and I washed my hair on Monday, so we're due. Today's the day I'm going to wash my hair out. If this is the first video of mine that you have seen. My hair is very curly. I have intensely textured hair. It's very thick and coarse and curly. There are two main reasons why I ordered this Shark Flex style. One is that my blower brush that I rely on appears to be dying and I needed to order something new. And then I also got this recommendation directly from my hairstylist. My stylist also has very curly hair and he had just ordered this and said he thought it would be really good and he said he thought it might be better than the Dyson. I don't have the Dyson. I have never tried it. I will not be comparing this to the Dyson. I'll just be trying this out as its own product. But of course, this one is famous for being a slightly lower cost version of the Dyson, but it still is a pretty solid investment. When I placed my order, I could choose, I think it was three attachments, and then I decided to add one more that was interesting to me. So let's look at what I got. My order came in a box like this with the different components assembled in this larger shipping box. This is the box that the Flex Styler itself came in. I did unbox this last night. So the device itself looks like this. I did watch Brad Mondo's review of this last night and he didn't like this color, but I have to tell you I do. I love this color. There's an apocryphal story possibly about Coco Chanel that when she saw the Parthenon, she said it was her favorite color, beige. I tend to relate. So this is a kind of medium toned, it's silver, but it's also slightly warm. It's like a neutral metallic. I think it's quite chic. And the way it works is there's a button here on the side that you can pull down and then it turns around like this. And then you can use this as a, a blow dryer directly. That's how that works. And then if you're not using it as a blow dryer, you can put attachments on it. So let's give that a shot. One of the attachments I got is a round blower brush. It looks like this. It has kind of this tip here, which they refer to as a cool tip. And it has a combination of what looks like silicone bristles and then something that approximate a boar's hair bristle, although this doesn't look like natural fibers. I think they're both plastic. So what you do here is you just attach it. That's what you do and it clicks right on. Do you want to hear that one more time? I'll try it again. Satisfying little click and you can depress this button to release it gently. So that's great. So the round blower brush is really important to me. I use one of these all the time to blow my hair out. It's what I'm replacing with my dry bar brush. So this is my first attachment. I also opted for this paddle brush. It's flat on this side and the bristles are on this side. And this is supposed to be really good for getting straight styles. So I'm going to try this. I think what I'm gonna do is maybe try the straight paddle brush here on my lower sections and then maybe try the roller brush on the top ones and then I will try out these two kind of air wrap dupe rollers. One is for the right side and one is for the left side and they say to use the right one on the right side of your head and the left one. I don't know if we're going to be getting Farrah Fawcett style loops or whatever but I'm going to give it all a shot. I'll use these two. I did also get another attachment. I'm not totally clear if it's perfectly right for my hair. This is an attachment that is a wide tooth comb. And this I think is meant to help with blow drying curly styles, especially kind of three and four hair type curly styles. They're saying that it's meant to sort of 
stretch out the curl while drying. My hair is very curly and textured and I did find this very interesting. I chose this over the diffuser because I do have a high quality hair dryer from the Moroccan Oil brand with a good diffuser. So I didn't really want to duplicate that. This is for my personal use as well as for this review here on YouTube. And so I wanted to try something new. So I did get this. I won't be able to try this today because this is really for wearing your hair curly and I do plan to blow my hair out today. So I will be using all of these attachments on my hair today and I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, my hair is a little bit damp, maybe halfway so. I've got products in it. I can link those down below. I also detailed the products that I use in a recent video called my silver hair wash day routine. So if you want to know more, please go ahead and check that out. I'm gonna section my hair now and we'll get started trying out these different attachments. Okay, that ought to do it. I've got my hair sectioned up. First things first, I haven't even tried this on yet. I just wanna see what it's like as a blow dryer. So I'm depressing this back button and I'm rotating it like this. So it has three heat settings and three blower settings. So I'm gonna start with a low heat, low blow, just to see what it's like. On. She's loud. It looks like the low heat setting is no heat, the medium is low, and then high is high. I think that's what's going on. But I'm not going to use this as a blow dryer just yet. I'm going to move right into the paddle brush attachment. So let's get the party started here. So I'll rotate it back. Oops. <clears throat> okay, got that satisfying click. Okay, I misspoke. The low heat is low heat. It's not no heat, but it is very, very low. So here's what I have so far from this. I think it looks, I'm looking right in the monitor, please excuse me, but that's all I can see right now. I think that it dried it just fine, but I do think that I'm seeing some of the, you know, frizz coming in from my natural texture here. I'm gonna try to kick it up a little bit and do medium heat, medium pressure. Okay, I'm gonna stop with the paddle brush here. It's funny, for years I've been using a blower brush and I'm used to kind of twirling it and my impulse is still there to do that. So I'm going to take that as a cue right now to stop midway on this lower section. You can still, you can see I still have some wet pieces here and it's a little bit frizzy at the moment. I am going to detach the paddle brush and I'm going to switch over to the round brush. At the medium, medium, just like I did with the last paddle brush. I love experimenting. Okay, first thoughts with the blower brush are that it does glide through the hair more readily than my blow dry bar. They have similar dual bristles. It looks like the dry bar brush has a little bit more surface area, maybe even more bristles. This one does seem to be gliding through my hair more easily, which is something my stylist Brandon said would be the case. He thought that the dry bar brush might be tugging a little bit. And now that I'm using this, I can see what he means. I'm getting a decent dry. Now I am using the medium heat. I'm gonna kick it up to the high heat just to finish this off to see if I can get just a little more sleek finish. Okay, a couple notes about user friendliness. This is quite a long tool, and my instinct is to put my hands down at the end, but you can see there is a vent here. This is the air intake that's drawing air into the tool so that it can blow out here. That's just something I'm noticing that I have to be careful about. I do tend to just grab right there. This is very easy to use, I would say. 
That extra heat did seem to give me a little bit more of the finish that I want. I'm gonna do these remaining three sections here with the round brush, and then I'm going to try the curler wrap feature on the top part here when I'm done. So I'm just gonna keep rolling it through my blow off. Somehow I turned all the heat off, and part of that is because of the way my hand hits this, because I wanna hang on to it down here, kind of naturally I'm hitting these buttons. It's not that big of a deal, but I'm gonna stop here for a moment. So my hair is pretty well dry. I think it looks a little bit fluffier than I'm used to, honestly. But it works well, it works quickly and well. Let's get into these curling attachments. So again, I do not have straight hair. I'm not taking straight hair and adding a curl. I'm taking very curly hair, blow drying it, and then adding curl. So I'm gonna use the, this is, this is my right side of my head. I'm gonna use the right attachment, boom. Never tried one of these before, I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna try it first on a section that's already dry, just to see. So I'm gonna try it on high high. This is something that my dry bar blower brush doesn't do. And I don't own a curling iron either. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying this before we get to this piece up here. I have no idea if I'm doing a good job. This is my first time trying this device and any device that does this particular trick. But let's just look real quick. So this is on the section that I already had dried. This is the level of curl and bounce I was able to get. You can kind of see this is the side I didn't do the curling iron with. And then. I'm gonna do the rest of this. I'm gonna keep this party going. You're supposed to use the right on the right side and the left on the left. I didn't switch it up. Do we think it's terrible? This is curving it in. This is curving it out. Does it seem like I'm kind of moving? Okay, I have no idea what this looks like from the back, but maybe a little fuzzy. Maybe a little fuzzy, but I like this option. This is fun. Okay, I'm gonna get busy on the top part of my head. I'm gonna try the same attachment and see how it works on wetter hair. We now know that the curling attachment works well on hair that's already been dried, at least in my case, on my hair. Again, my hair is naturally coarse and curly, and so the question is, will this smooth and curl, or do I need to smooth first with a round brush and then curl with the curling attachment? This is for science. Now we're having a real Nellie Olson moment. So this is what I've learned, is that if I do it when it's still damp, I get a much juicier, more, I think, set curl. You can see here, it's looking a little bit like it's trying to figure out which pattern to show right now. I don't know if this overall look is coming together, but I'm enjoying trying it out. I am going to switch to the left side and try the left side curler. So I'm going in with the left side.
I've sort of lost the plot here. I'm going to use the roller brush again on this side and then finish with this curling iron. I'm learning here, I'm just learning. I also just learned not to touch the curling wand in the center of the device. It's as hot as Hades. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I did just get this mostly dry. It's still a little damp to the touch, but at least I got it smoothed out first, and now I'm gonna go back in with the left-facing curler wand. I don't know if you noticed when I switched over to the left side that I did have to come at the hair from behind versus in front. It took me a second to adjust and I was struggling so that's just maybe a learning curve thing but that's what just happened if you were watching that. Okay this is kind of a mess right? Like a little bit? Are we agreeing on this part? Or is it? I think I need a little more curl here to make this worthwhile. I need to fix a little bit of the frizziness here, and I need to add a little more curl back there. So I'm just gonna do that and try to wrap this up. I'm gonna stop with this tool. This is pretty wild, actually. I feel like I'm in that scene of The Wizard of Oz after the lion goes to the spa. I'm gonna use a little bit of this Goldilocks Signature Serum. It's really hard to see, I know, but I'm gonna use a little bit of that. Just, I put it on my hands. I'm gonna run my hands through. This should increase the shine, maybe take down some of the frizz. Whoa. This is not exactly what I thought I was going to be doing today, but I'm doing it. It's still happening. Whoa. Whoa. Do I have pageant hair? It feels like I have pageant hair. I need to really, really think about what this means for the rest of 2023. I feel like pageant hair is a new level to the video game, like I've leveled up into pageant hair, and I need to figure out exactly how I'm going to use this new superpower aesthetically. Okay, I think I'm done here. I'm going to see you in a minute for my final thoughts. Okay, final thoughts. So I spent $328 of my own money, of course not sponsored or gifted. This is a purchase that I made for myself. And I think that this is a pretty good product. I still think that's kind of expensive. If all you're looking for is a blow dryer or a blow dryer brush, I think you can get a good blow dry from a round brush attachment for less than $300. If you want a hair dryer and a round brush and whatever other attachments you need and those wrapping stylers to get this kind of pageant hair situation, I do think it might be worth it. Let me look up how much the Dyson Airwrap is going for now. So for $599.99, not quite $600, you do get the smoothing dryer, a 1.6 inch Airwrap long barrel, and a 1.2 inch, so two long and short. One looks, oh I see, it's the diameter. You get a big, a fatter and a thinner one, which I think is pretty interesting. You get a smoothing brush, which looks flat. You get a firm one and a soft one, and then a round brush and a storage case for $600. So for twice as much, you do get a couple of extra attachments and you get a nice case to store it in, which I think is pretty cool, especially if you intend to travel. I personally never felt comfortable dropping $600 on the Dyson Airwrap, especially since I had watched some reviews that said for people with very curly hair that it might not be a great fit. And because my stylist had recommended this shark to me, I felt like it was comfortable. And somehow 300 
felt more in line and I was in the market for it. So those are all of the reasons why I bought this particular device. I think it's a pretty good device so far as my first impression. Please do stay tuned for a future video where I review this after I've had more time with it. But on first blush, I think it works well. I think it's a high quality product. I'm kind of excited to have pageant hair on the table for my aesthetic adventures in the year 2023. But as someone with very curly hair, I do like having big hair. It is something that I do very much enjoy. Even when it's out of style, I like having big hair. It's just who I am. If you enjoyed this review, I hope you consider hitting the like button. It helps my channel a lot. I would love it if you subscribed and returned to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well out there and I hope you have a great week ahead. Thank you so much for watching. Talk soon.